Alright, so next reaction is Seven Martial Arts Endurance Exercise for Fighters. Now, I think it's about the conditioning of, you know, your fists, your forearm, elbow, um, your ribs, or knee, or legs, or your feet, or anything, because, um, you know, if you like conditioning for a week after week, you'll be fine, but you have to be careful for your whole body to like, um, you know, all that. So here we go, three, two, one, go. What's going on guys? Shane here. So this video is a collab with Jerome Fitness. Today we're going to be teaching you a bunch of different endurance exercises for fighters to ensure that you can fight hard from round 1 through 12. Alright, so the first thing that we're talking about is cardiovascular endurance or stamina training. And one of the most important ones that every fighter should be doing is running. And cardio training can be fun or it can be a pain in the ball. <laughs> Okay, Jerome? Anyway, guys, the exercises that you hate doing are usually the best ones for you. There's no one technique that's going to win you every fight. You need to train hard and train consistently if you want to be a good fighter. Let's go back to a couple more exercises with Jerome. Hey, Jerome, how's it hanging? Ah! Oh, so funny. Anyway, Shane, thank you for introducing me. I am Jerome, for those who don't know me. I'm an online personal trainer and nutritionist, bringing you videos about fitness, nutrition, and flexibility every single week. So, how does this work, how it goes? It's pretty basic. You will perform all of these exercises back-to-back, -back, meaning without any rest in between, or with minimum rest. So, Shane, can you start with some speed back work, please? Yes, sir. So, the speed back, contrary to the name, does not develop speed. It's more of a shoulder workout, timing, and rhythm. You want to keep your opposite hand up, the non-hitting hand, at at least chin or cheek level, and hit the bag consistently for at least five minutes straight. You can also bounce on your toes as well for added cardio. And now back to Jerome with some goblet squats. The goblet squat allows you to squat down deep, meaning that you will get a bigger range of motion, which is always a good thing for martial artists, if you ask me. And also, it's safer to use in a high-tempo workout like this one, compared to doing heavyweight barbell squats. The next exercise is an essential one for any fighter. It's shadow boxing. This is where you practice your combos, your footwork, everything to your mental preparation. Alright, if you want to get a good workout, make sure you're doing at least three five-minute rounds. And for an added shoulder workout, you can hold two to five pound weights in your hands while throwing punches. Some people hate shadow boxing, but I think it's better than conventional cardio. And apparently less painful sometimes. How's the pain in your own? <sighs> yes, I'm fine. It only hurts a little bit. Another great shoulder workout, which is essential for throwing punches and keeping your hands up in a fight, is shoulder push-ups or pipe push-ups. And the way you do these is have your butt up in the air so you're in an A shape, have your fingers facing each other, tuck your chin to your chest, and really isolate those shoulders when you do your push-ups. And you want to do high reps of those, so something like five sets of 20 push-ups. Next up is the upright barbell twist. This is a great exercise for your abdominals, primarily your obliques, and it kind of resembles throwing punches, and I think it definitely benefits any martial artist to perform this exercise. Alright, thanks Jerome. So, do you have any last bit of advice for the underdogs? Last but not least, some high intensity rope skipping. Skip for at least one minute to get a 15 minute workout, or go for a six minute rope skipping routine, and then you will have a complete workout of about 20 minutes. Alright guys, thanks for watching. So make sure you check out Jerome's channel for more fitness, flexibility, and nutrition videos. And make sure you subscribe too, he's got some great content over there. If you haven't subscribed to Fight Tips already, make sure you do so you can get those tips before your opponent does. Until next time, I'm Shane with Fight Tips. Self-defense for the underdogs. Alright, so, yeah. I'll see you on the next reaction videos.